Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IEYC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. You know it's war time. The Lord ordained all of this here before time. John 10 and 20 said we hear that voice now. Rising up, you see them God don't get scared now. We on the head now, yeah, cause it's war time. The Lord ordained all of this here before time. John 10 and 20 said we hear that voice now. Rising up, you see them God don't be scared now. We on the head now. I buy press like Hydrex on more fly than a fly cat. It's war time. You What's up? I'm Nathaniel. What's your name? Jaden. All oh, praises. I like that name. Jaden. You in school right now? What school? What grade? You're a fre gonna be a freshman? High school? Okay. All right. What do you what 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 have you learned in history as it pertains to our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Nothing much. You, you, you don't find that suspicious? That they haven't shown our people who we are? Are we, have they ever gone over slavery in, 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 in the school? Maybe briefly during February? The shortest month of the year, they give us Black History Month. And ain't that the same month, gay pride at, at the same time? Ain't that the same month? You, you don't find that suspicious, Jaden? You ever wonder? Why our people always seem to suffer the atrocities worldwide? We're the, at the bottom of society. We got the poorest education systems. Right. We get the poorest books and the computers, right? And then they want to take out our critical history out of the schools. Right. Our people fight to get the Confederate flag taken down and they comply with an agenda to say, okay, we take our flag down, we'll take out the fact that we had you in slavery right. out of the schools. Now, you are familiar with the fact that our people did go into slavery via slave ships. Look right down there to your right there. You, you've heard of that, right? That's factual history, right? That happened, right? Did you know that it's a reason? Have you ever asked why? Why would this happen to our people? Did you see the movie with uh, Will Smith called Emancipation? You saw that. That's the character that he played. Look at his back. That happened, right? You ever wonder how that can happen to a people? Why that would happen to a people? And we never really get the answers. <laughs> We're gonna get it today, Jaden. I want you to listen good real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 76, and then we're gonna find out what happened to our people. All right. Read what you got. Now remember, we're not black. Your search black. The word black is merely a description of people. But we're going to go deeper and describe the bloodline, the pedigree of a specific people. Read what you got from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. That means separate. God created 18 nations and he separated one from those nations. Right. See what, they, what he intends for that one nation. We're hearing about it. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord thy God has chosen you, Jaden, to be a special people. That's right. To whom? Unto himself. Unto himself. The Lord God. The most high God. Right. Now, special how? I just mentioned that as you was walking up. We're the fastest, right? 
we're the strongest, we jump the highest, we score the most touchdowns, we score the most points, we can entertain, we can sing like angels. We're the best looking on the planet Earth. That's how special we are. That's right. Oh, let's see. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said, I chose you to be a special people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that means those other 17 nations, we're supposed to be above those people. That means rulership. That's right. We're gods on this earth. I love that point because that's the point that wakes us up to the fact that we're the greatest people we're reading right now. That a particular people are the greatest people to walk the earth. And we're proving that we are those people because we are the strongest. We are the fastest. We are the best looking. Right. We are that special people chosen to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. So now we come back to the question as to why aren't we treated as such? Why don't we live as such? You understand that? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. While he's getting that, Jaden, take a look at this sign right here. Can you see where you would fit on your right hand side are the names that we got during oppression and slavery. The names on your left are the names that we acquired from God himself. We're from the nation of Israel, right? So you would be either from, what do you see yourself? Levi, so-called Haitian, from the island of Hispaniola, right next door to the Dominican Republic, right? Have you ever asked yourself why the so-called Haitians from the tribe of Levi are always fighting the so-called Dominicans from the tribe of Simeon? You ever wonder why they treat each other so bad? Did you know that they were brothers? Ah, see, the so-called white man has used divide and conquer to make us fall into a state of amnesia and not realize we're the same people. Yeah. We're learning that we're the same people right now, Jaden. Bring it out. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God shall set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's right. Ah, so we just read we're the special people chosen to be above all people upon the face of the earth and we're reading the stipulations on how we maintain that status right. that god status that kingly royal status right. read it from the top and if it and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently if we hearken the word hearken the root word is here fervently continuously that's what diligently means here diligently read Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. How are we hearing the voice of the Lord thy God? We're reading it right now. Right. This is the voice of the Lord thy God. It's not like he's going to open the skies and say, Jaden, you're the greatest people. No, we're reading it. Right. And we read you're a special people. Above all people. And he's telling you how. Listen here and observe what? Read. Wake up. To observe and to do all his commandments now Jaden, the word do d-o is that a noun or a verb verb very good that's a that's a uh person place a thing or an action very good so that means some application has to be applied that's right we can't just be hearers of the word we have to be doers of the word and we're reading what we should be doing right to observe and to do all his commandments all his commandments that's right read on which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. So that's the stipulation of being set above all nations upon the earth by applying the commandments. Right. Read on. On the earth and all the blessings shall and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. And if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shalt thou be in the city. So if we keep the commandments, he's not only going to set us above all nations, 
He's going to bless us. That's right. Blessed will we be in the city. Bring it out. Blessed shall we be in the city. And blessed shall thou be in the field. So even our crops, our harvests would be blessed. It wouldn't right. be defiled and, and riddled with chemtrails. Wake them up. You understand that? Now, you go to school, right? Your parents say, hey, if you go to school, if you go to school and you get your lesson, you do your homework, you get on the honor roll, I might let you play a little sport. So I might let you get a summer pass to Six Flags. So if you don't do what they say, will you be rewarded? There's a flip side, right? There's consequences, right? So we're hearing on the one side how we can maintain rulership on the earth by keeping the commandments. That's right. Give me verse 15. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it shall come to pass. What we're reading right now is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Right. The special people. Bring it out. Right? We had just come out of Egypt. You heard about Moses, God telling Moses, go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. You've heard that, right? That's possessive, by the way. Right. right. That means God, he's talking about his people that he chose to be above all nations. That's right. right. We were in captivity in Egypt. Right. Yes, right. we built the pyramids right. by force. That's right. We were slaves. Right. So once we got out of slavery in Egypt, we crossed the Red Sea. Remember Moses split the Red Sea. Once we got to the other side, he had to deprogram those Egyptian customs that we were forced to keep and reprogram us with God's law, statutes, and commandments that he only gave to rulers of the earth. How you doing, Chubby? Hey, what we're doing, we're gathering the children of Israel together. We're pulling them out of the strongholds that's keeping us oppressed on this earth. We're explaining to Jaden right now. Come on around the front. I want you to take a look at this sign as well as we're bringing out the scriptures. Jaden, tell him who we are according to the Bible. We're the greatest people. We're the chosen people from the nation of what? Israel. Nation of Israel. That's right. See, Jaden understands that there is no land of black. Bring it out. There is no language of black. Wake him up. We're not a description for a nation. We're actually reading the true pedigree. How you doing, my sister just walked up? I'm good. It's good to see you. Come on close. We're not going to bite you. This is your brother Chubby. Hey, this is Jaden. And what's your name? I'm Ari. Ari. Guess what? We're having a family reunion right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many people don't even realize. Tell her we're chosen to be but be what? Above what? Oh, um, we're chosen to be above other nations. We're chosen. God chose you, or Ari to be above all nations. Did you know you were a princess of God? Yes, you did. Now we gotta, we're reading why we're not treated as kings and princesses of God. You understand that? Why did we go into slavery via slave ships? Why are we cursed in the city and cursed in the fields like the cotton fields, the tobacco fields, the, the rubber fields? And if we didn't pick enough rubber, they chopped our hands off. Look, kids' hands chopped off. Bring it out. If we didn't meet a quota, whose quota? White say it again. The white folks. No, 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 say it again. The white folks. That's right. We're not ashamed. We're not ashamed. How is it we are deemed evil for bringing out facts? And it's a fact that they put us in slavery. But we're reading why. Why? How is it that they gained that power to enslave over two, three hundred burly black men and women and children with minimal hands, ship hands, and managed to control us the way they did? Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statues, which I command thee this day. Statutes, not a statue like a figurine, but a statue is an amendment to the commandments. You understand that? For example, Ari, you got children? No. But you are a child, you got parents. Yes. They say, Ari, wash the dishes. Okay. That's the commandment. Right. The statute to that commandment is wash, dry, 
put up with the dishes. Wrap up the food. Don't put my big pots and pans in the refrigerator. Wipe the counter. Get all the debris and out of the sink. Wash and sanitize and do what? Sweep them up. Say it again. Sweep them up. Sweep and mop the floor. Jaden, take that trash out. That's the commandment. The statute to that commandment as you help her wash the dishes, which encompasses cleaning the kitchen. That's the statute to that commandment. Now take out the trash, Jaden. Now, you've got to get the trash not only out of the kitchen, but out of the bathroom and all the other rooms. Right. Put a bag back in the trash can. Take that trash out to the trash can outside. On Wednesday, roll that trash can out on trash day to the curb. When you get back from school, bring that trash can back to the side of the house. That's the statutes to the commandments. That's all he's saying. The details, the order, the ordinances of the commandments, the statutes to that commandment. So if you don't do this, what will happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now we read earlier that if we kept the commandments, God was going to set us on high above all nations upon the earth. That's rulership, right? So now if we don't do what he say, is he still going to reward us? So we, it's safe to say that the curses, like cursed in the field, cursed in the city, is not a reward. It's a punishment. Right. If you didn't clean that kitchen according to the rules, there was some consequences. Now, we're going to read some of the consequences that only a particular people can have. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. So one of the curses is that the tender and delicate woman amongst us. Read which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot oh. upon the ground for her delicateness. Did you know that the princesses of God didn't even have to set foot on the earth? That the other nations that we were set above were supposed to carry you everywhere you went. Yes, right. Right. But because we're dis disobedient to God's laws, we're reading a curse that you'll no longer be able to be carried around. Right. Read, because our feet hurt all day. We stand on our feet working, right? Yeah. For delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. Now, we talk about that divide and conquer method again. Right. How else did they divide and conquer our nation? They effemin uh, what is that? feminize our men, right. emasculate our men, right. and turn our women against the man. I don't need no man. I'm a strong black woman. That's right. I don't need no man. Then they give us gifts like WIC, right. Section 8, That's right. welfare. Uh, can the man be in the house and you keep those welfare benefits? No. Hey, the welfare system helps the disintegration of the American family. It uh, offers money to families if the fathers will leave them and stay away. In that sense, undoing the very stability of the family and taking away one of the two parents the children of course need and uh, what I have seen I'm afraid to say all over the country is that the legal system works against the best kind of home for these children so now our women are evil towards the husband of their bosom they no longer look at themselves as the help meet to the husband. Right, right. They usurp their authority over men. Big mama's not supposed to usurp authority over big man. Right, right. <laughs> Notice when people knock at the door, they ask for big mama first these days. They don't ask for them. Is the man of the house available? Bring it out. They don't do that no more, do they, Jada? The world is flipped upside down. Why? Because we disrespect and disobey, disobey God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read it out. Give me verse 68. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, we talked earlier how God told Moses to go get my people out of Egypt, out of slavery, right? Y'all from Atlanta? Where are you from? Mississippi. Mississippi. Where are you from? You saw the movie Life? So when we think of the movie Life, what was it centered around? What was the great state of Mississippi? What were they on? A plantation. A plantation 
And it was to do what to those prisoners? Imprison right. those prisoners. That's right. And he talked about the gun line, boss. Right? Florida. What do we know as the slammer? Oh, no. What's the pokey? What's the joint? I've been locked up, up the river. All of these terms that relate to imprisonment, right? Or captivity. Right. Or bondage. It said, he's going to send, read it again for him. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said, I'm going to bring you again into Egypt with ships. But we walked out of Egypt. Remember, we Moses split the Red Sea? And we walked across the river. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord thy God said, I'm going to bring you back into slavery, Egypt, again with what? With ships. What is that right here? A ship. What kind of ship? Is that a carnival cruise line with water slides and... No, that's a good good guess. He said, is that Noah's ship? No, this is actually a cargo slave ship. That's right. And all of these different figures that you see are our people. Right. Slaves. Why? Because we broke God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. That's right. I told you I was going to set you on high like gods and princesses of God to rule the planet Earth. Well, come on. And you along to get the benefits of the rulers of Earth right. as a princess of God. So now we can understand why this is happening to our people. This could have only happened to a special people. That's right. The other nations would have never been able to survive chattel slavery the way we have. Right. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We wouldn't see our homeland. We wouldn't see our women being carried around right. because of our disobedience again. Right. Read. And there. Ye shall be sold. Once we got there, once we got to Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, Antigua, Barbados, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Central America, South America, right. North America, Charleston, South Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, New Orleans, right. Louisiana. Once we got there, read, ye shall be sold. Ye shall be sold. What is this? An auction slave block right there. Right. What, what, what happened to us when we got off that ship? And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. We shall be sold unto our enemies. Right. Who are our enemies? Hey. Jump to verse 46. Yeah. Who are our enemies? Who took us into slavery? The white people. The white, folk. The white people. Yeah. These people. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Talking about those punishments, not rewards. Those curses right. shall be upon thee for a sign. Why? To let us know that we are the children of Israel in these later days. Right. We're not black. Right. We're not African American. Right. Right. We're not Jamaican. Right. We're not Haitian. Right. We're not Bayesian. Right. We're the children of Israel. That's, That's, right. Right. That's why he put these curses on us. Not only to punish us, but to give us an opportunity to repent and come back out of this amnesia to the fact that we're the greatest people to walk the earth. That's right? right? Read. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. These curses will be upon our seed, our children forever. That's that generational curses we hear about. Right? right? right. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Why? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because we serve not the Lord our God. Right. The God that brought us out of Egypt. Right. The God that said, I chose you to be special above all nations. The God said, all you got to do is keep my commandments. Right. That only a God right. can keep. Read. With joyfulness and with gladness of heart. We didn't serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. This entire globe was for us. That's right. That's right. Read. For the abundance of all things. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. Therefore, you're going to serve the enemies. The same enemies we just read about that took us in slavery and sold us once we got off those slave ships. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent those enemies against us? The white folk. No, read it again. 
which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent those enemies against us? The Lord. Wrong. The Lord. Wrong. Why? Because uh, we ain't listen to his commandments. Yeah. We didn't yeah. listen to his commandments. That's what I'm talking about, Jaden. All praise it to the Most High. That means we're coming back to the realization of who we are. Right. Read. In hunger and in thirst. Therefore, we'll serve the enemy which the Lord sent against us in hunger. Do we own Kroger's? Now, my great grandparents had a little corner grocery store in Birmingham, Alabama, Ellen and City. But they had to go to the enemies, to the farmers market, and all these various uh, uh, wholesale spots to stock their store to sell. So they even they had to go to the enemy in hunger. We don't own the McDonald's. We don't own the, uh, 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 the little Mexican joint over there. Because right. even though our brothers from the tribe of Ishakar are the so-called Mexicans, they right. still got to go to the enemy to stock their restaurant. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Can you go? Uh, your, your parents pay a uh, water bill? You pay your water bill. What happens if you don't pay your water bill? Your water cuts off. Who cuts that water off? The white folks. Right. Say it again. There you go. Those are those enemies. So we're reading about the enemies that the Lord sent against us for disobedience. In hunger and in thirst. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. I came up in the 90s, around 90s, 90s. And they had a uh, uh, FUBU for us by us. You remember that? You remember Sean John? You young. I get it. I get it. There was some clothing lines that were created and made popular by some of our people, so-called blacks. Uh, the owner of FUBU, you see him on Shark Tank. The, okay, right, you got me. Uh -huh. Sean John, unfortunately, was created by Sean Puffy Combs. Diddy, no Diddy, <laughs> right? Well, Puffy owned Sean John. You know, they had the store in, in, in Manhattan. I think it was, uh, 42nd Street, down in Times Square. Big store, Sean John. Yeah, they owned it. But did they own the raw textiles to get the fabrics to make those jeans and sweatshirts? Bring it out. Does Michael Jordan own Nike? But his name on it. <laughs> he don't even own that, right, right, right. The enemies own it. Said, we'll serve the enemies in hunger, thirst, and in nakedness. Read. And in want of all things. We're going to serve the enemy in want of all things. You're a freshman in high school. Right. You acquire to get, you, you're, you're aspiring to get a high school diploma. Right. We have to utilize their educational system that was put in place by who? The white people. The white people. Right. And what did we discuss earlier? What did they take out of the schools? Uh, the, the education of learning about slavery. They've taken the education about slavery out of the schools. Right. They're right. forcing us to learn their curriculum. Right. Now they got transvestites reading story time to the kindergarten. Bring it out. Bring it out. They got, uh, what's her name, Sexy Red going in there singing about the color of her private parts to the little eighth graders. Kindergarten, first grade. We're not learning that we're the greatest people to walk the earth. Right. Right. Our pastors aren't showing us that we're the greatest people to walk the earth. And that's there's requirements of us, right? Now, what you got? Where we at? Okay. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hey, if you Google the word yokes of iron, you will find this. Right. Who had shackles, chains, and yokes of iron around our necks? Yeah, the white people put them on who? Oh, the slaves. The slaves. Right. God said, you have a yoke of iron. You're going to serve them in the want of all things. You want a driver's license, you got to go to who? The DMV. Who runs the DMV? The white people. Right. If you get married and have children, that's the order. That's God's order. Right. When you have that child, you got to get a birth certificate. Right. Right. Who do you got to go to for the birth certificate? The white people. That's right. If I pass away, my wife has to go to the white people to get a death certificate. Bring it out. We weren't allowed to read in slavery, were we? 
right. read or write, we'd be put to death. Right. So we had to learn everything about this Bible from the white man, right. what he wanted us to know. Right. But now we can read, Master. That's right. We will read that we are the greatest people that right. walk the planet. Right. We read, we can read the destruction of the white people right. if and when the children of Israel come back to applying God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You understand that? That's how we're going to regain our rulership back on the earth. is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation 